Uh, so I guess I missed a a missed one. This one's fourteen hours old. I already watched this. Have I watched this? Let me see this. Give me a second. Connected to several. Videos. Oh no, I have not watched this. Oh, I guess we can watch this. Well, let's do this. Let's let's watch a. Uh, more Zhongli, Zhongli, uh, dominance Earth, Domi domain Earth, dominance of Earth. So let's watch it. When it comes to Liyue's sacred traditions, the divinity is in the details. Even the most fastidious of academics don't claim to know them all. And yet, the mysterious funeral consultant Zhongli seems to know them like the back of his hand. The ancient rite of parting is a most unique tradition. Many details have been lost over time, but Zhong Li is still able to perform the right to perfection. Though he looks young, Zhong Li knows each ancient tradition inside out, but his own past is shrouded in mystery. Not if you've done the quest. Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. Zhong Li ah. excels at manipulating Geo, able to create and absorb geo matter and provide sturdy shields for his allies mm. this paired with his exceptional ability in combat makes him a reliable member of your party Zhongli seems to know everything about everything even a simple chunk of white iron ore right there did you hear what he said a valuable member in, in your party in this thing they're literally setting him up to be a support a defensive support that helps your team. Okay, I see. He is able to pick out the best ore and use it to maximum effectiveness. When forging pole arms, Zhong Li recovers a set percentage of the ores used. Zhong Li's normal attack can combo up to six strikes, dealing physical damage to enemies. Hold the attack button to consume a set amount of stamina and lunge forward. Yeah, that's casting down those animations are across thick. Zhongli's path, dealing significant physical damage to enemies. Tap Zhongli's elemental skill to summon the geo energy from within the ground, and form a stone steel, dealing area of effect geo damage to enemies. While the stone steel remains, it will periodically resonate with nearby geo constructs. Dealing continuous geo damage to surrounding enemies. Ah, so he's good with Ning Wong. You can take advantage of this in battle. Draw enemies affected by other elements towards the stone steel to both deal geo damage and cause crystallize reactions. Use the elemental shield created by crystallize to help your party survive. Stone steels can also be used. Zhang Li is set up to be a support. Not in the same way that uh, Venti is. So Zhongli is more of a defensive support that is there to keep your team alive, to keep your... So the less time you're stuck healing, the more time you're just doing damage. Used ...to block enemy attacks, or climbed to traverse difficult terrain. Eh. Holding it's kind of too skinny to block attacks. Zhongli's elemental skill causes geo energy around him to explode creating a jade shield and dealing area of effect geo damage the jade shield absorbs damage the amount absorbed scales with Zhang Li's max hp and is higher against enemies geo attacks mm. if Zhang Li is surrounded by targets affected by geo it will drain a large amount of geo energy from up to two of them this effect does not deal damage but can effectively break down enemies geo armor and I see so he absolutely destroyed geo enemies that's what that's what I'm hearing nearby ore deposits okay. after unlocking the talent resonant waves when the jade shield takes damage it will fortify your character allowing their shield to absorb more damage this is order Zhongli can bring a huge meteor crashing down Dealing massive geo damage and applying petrification to enemies caught near the impact site. Petrified enemies become immobilized. Mm. After unlocking the talent Dominance of Earth, 
Planet Befall deals additional damage to enemies, which scales with Zhongli's max HP. Wait, you have to get a talent for his damage to be scaled? Wait. Okay. Composure, even as he meets out punishment in battle. His exceptional ability to provide support and deal damage makes him quite prepared for any scenario. As the fight begins, first use Zhongli's elemental skill to summon a stone steel and draw enemies near it, creating the ideal environment for dealing damage. Next, create a jade shield to absorb incoming damage. Then, alternate normal and charged attacks to deal enormous damage. When energy is full, unleash an elemental burst and coordinate your party's attacks to wipe out the enemy. While Liyue Harbor grows restless on the eve of disaster, I see. As the host of the Rite of Parting, Zhong Li still calmly goes about his work. The world around him may be descending into chaos, yet he remains unperturbed, sipping his tea and watching a good show. Quite the fascinating character. As Li Yue faces the turbulence of change, does he believe it is none of his business? Or is he also a player in this game? We already know this. This is just behind the scenes stuff. Uh, I don't care. Okay. So I like this because it shows that Zhang Li was not built as a DPS. This shows that he's not built as a DPS. This is what they needed to show. Because they built him up and people were thinking he was going to be big damage uh, schlong everywhere. Okay? He was going to be just digging every uh, enemy down. But he's not. He's not. He's not that character. So this truly shows Zhang Li... Not a damage dealer, he's support. I still want him. And I still think he's gonna be good. I just think people need to put their expectations not as main DPS dealer, as more support or team. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.